We budget fam, we budget fam. As you can tell from the title, I am preparing to stuff over $10,000. Uh, it is my preparation for November, uh, my preparation for the next couple months as I've gotten my uh, quarterly bonus. And as I do, when I get my bonus, I infuse my budget. I am going to knock out some of my sinking funds. I also did some shopping just to prepare, um, but I'll show you if you're interested in seeing how it all uh, works out and exactly how I stuff over $10,000 uh, for my cash stuffing. Stick around. Let's get it. All right, we budget fam. So if it's your first time stopping by, if you are not yet part of the We Budget Fam, I invite you to join. Um, quick subscribe and you're done. Um, I am He Budgets and I welcome you to my channel. For all the We Budget Fams, I welcome you back. Today, as I've mentioned already, I'm going to stuff over 10,000. I can't say the number just yet because I'm not exactly sure. It'll be in the title. Um, but before I get all the cash together, what I wanted to do was just go through and close out October. Um, October was a good month for me. I received my quarterly bonus. I also um, got a refund that I've been waiting for since after since I purchased my house. I was supposed to get some cash back on my appraisal fee that my lender was supposed to pay. They finally paid me that almost a year uh, later, but I received that cash back. It was also a uh, magic month for November. And as it is, um, today is the 31st, but that cash will be set. I've already put out all the cash I need for this stuffing. Um, I'm going to do this probably video for the next couple of days. I did already do a piece on uh, closing the spooky savings challenge, um, but I'm just going to make some videos and put it all together. What I need to do first is close October and just bear with me. I'm going to kind of put it together as I go. I'm going to make it kind of long. And if so, we'll figure it out as we get there. Um, what I need to do first is see how much cash I have left in my binders. Need to push this back a little bit. Um, I did kind of do a quick count just to see what I had left. Uh, let's see where, if how true they are. 140 left in spending. So, I was all ready to really get into my budget and to use my cash. And I didn't use a lot of cash last month. Um, but I had some extra cash in my checking account and it just kept, it, it was just enough. And I didn't do a lot of spending this month, but um, what I did pull out, um, this was probably 200 bucks. So 60 out. So I did spend some money. Um, as far as groceries, I've got left. 51, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which is correct on my sheet. Um, I think most of these are actually right. Uh, gas money. I've got 200 bucks in here. Um, I've been doing really good on gas. Um, as I've mentioned before, I get a tank of gas for my job. And I usually, I think this month I did put 20 in my tank today, um, which I really didn't need um, because I'll have cash to roll over for tomorrow. Um, but Besides that, I think I put another 50 in, so a full tank from the job plus 50, 70, so did pretty good on gas. Uh, 200 on there. Household has 80 bucks in it still. And fun money. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80 bucks in fun stash 30 i'm gonna go through some of these and then i'll be back i'm gonna go through these and we'll see if i can speed this up if not i'm just gonna leave this piece out um uh, but we'll see i'm gonna keep talking maybe we'll have some of that uh <laughs> some of the video we've seen before speed it up all right for internet i should have 100 bucks in here i did not spend this money i just took it on my checking account so it's in here it'll roll over i won't put anything in it later uh mortgage there should be 600 bucks up in here two four six i will eventually put this into the bank um, i'll get there especially after uh, my next stuffing pg e one two three twenty forty six eighty four hundred i am bumping this up it's four hundred dollars in here i'm bumping this up to five i'm um, just with the winter coming i know i'll probably need a little bit more so i did my goal used to be 400 i am uh, making this 500 and i'll be stuffing an extra hundred in here upgrades i don't add into these i count those up so i'll leave that up to the set water my water bill was really high this month i had um i was working on my grass and everything so i was using a lot of water anyway i got 300 bucks in here uh water and actually this 300 comes out because i paid this bill it was 345 dollars and i just paid this so i'm gonna take this out and i'm gonna slide this uh to the bank and i use my city i use my double card double rewards so i'm gonna put this in here i paid this today uh so water is empty 
I guess I can kind of go through these. Let's see. Uh, so I'm at zero. My goal was 300. I'll be stuffing 300. Uh, garbage. Said so this should be 140. Uh, 140. Garbage is good. Uh, let's see. Credit cards and all those stay empty. Uh, car registration is in annuals. And I'm just going to run these. 20, 25, 30. And that's all set for annuals. Where is it? Annuals, 65. Uh, my capital one bill, should be four bucks in here. Three and four. Sorry, I haven't, first time looking up, I hope I've been in camera. <laughs> Car insurance, 50, 70, 130. I don't know where that, 50, 70 was at. 130, Chase Sapphire, five is eight. Car registration, 26. Amazon subscription, 155. Prime America Life, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 8, 8, and that's correct. Providence Life, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 80. Uh, movie subscription, should be at 10, and that 10 is there. <laughs> Chase Southwest, it's got six books in there. Southwest, Chase. Uh, family, uh, my son's birthday, 25, 10, 25, my birthday, should be at 50, uh, vacation, should be at 75, 50, 75, uh, family, 55, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, uh, Christmas, at 83, 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, and gifts is not counted, mint save is not on there, you know what, I think I use mint save for grandkids, and that's this. Grandkids at 20. Grandkids 20. Oh, guess it's on there. And guess it should be at 25. 25. Uh, personal savings. Uh, this one. Uh, personal savings. 50, 150, 60, 65, 70, 75. Uh, golden shoes is at 50. Uh, car maintenance. No, car maintenance is at 208, 51, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and 8. Uh, health, medical, <clears throat> that 50. Student loans is at zero. I pay that monthly. I may move that today or this stuffing. Uh, my son's savings, 20, 30, 40, 50. Emergency fund, it's not even up here. Is at 25. Giveaways, emergency fund. Uh, taxes and all that stays. Uh, doing me doesn't need to get counted. My change binder still has 220 in there, and my emergency fund has 75. Or yeah, that's 25. All right, be back. All right, we budget fam. So so far, what I did is I went through my binders to uh, document or to note where all my binders are at. Um, from there, what I do now in my budget is I can go in here now and see what I need uh, for the next month. Um, and also what extra I can put in to just uh, to cover myself for the next couple months um, until I get my next bonus and it just hold me over. So what I do in my budget, and I don't know if I've ever really gone through it. So if you're interested, here it is. Uh, basically, the money that I'm going to be using today, uh, this is just at the bottom. So I've already done some rough calculations um, I'm going to see, just go through it one more time with you all just to figure it all out and to situate. Uh, so I had, after my, what is it? After I got my, um, my bonus, I took $4,500 out and it'll go towards preparing my next quarter. So this is after I put some money into uh, my savings, some money into my um, retirement and all that stuff. I've got $4,500 left that I budget uh, forward. In addition to that, I'm using my extra paycheck. Um, I get an extra one in November. Um, it pays tomorrow, November 1st. So I'm adding it now. Um, of the refund that I got from my uh, mortgage company, I am allocating 500 to this as well. Um, I did. It was 750 was the return, the refund. Um, I took my aunt out for my aunt out for her birthday and paid for both my aunts um, and myself. It was about 156, I believe. 
Um, so I took that out of, I said everything over five, I would, um, just use on myself, but I end up using some of that for my aunts. The change is just floating around. I've got 500 for this stuffing. Um, I also, from my regular, um, income, I usually pull out a certain amount, um, for my budget and I pulled out 38.62 for that. Uh, so far, I, let's see, so far in my budget, with all the numbers that I've input so far and what I plan to spend so far, I am looking at, this is, uh, 10,027 is what I'm planning to spend so far is what I've allocated to my budget. And that gives me a remainder of, excuse me for all the jumping around, $766. And this is from these, these numbers that are here. So in addition to the money I've already put aside, um, the savings I've already done, I've got, still have an extra $766. I have to get my heater fixed. So I've got some money put aside for it, but any extra right now is going to go towards the heater too and just offset that cost. All right. So from the top, what I do with my budget when my computer catches up. All right. Now let's budget. Let's budget October. Pull out just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to budget October and also just put some money towards my prep uh, for the next quarter. So get my quarterly budget and then I budget right now and I'll be budgeting fourth quarter. So let's get that done. All right. So as always, starting off with my standard primary spending, I'm not putting any extra money into my primary spending just because I really don't need it. Um, it's set and it works. So uh, for this We'll be using the need. Um, so right now my spending in my binder, I have $140. That means I need $60 uh, for groceries in my binder already. I have 114. Um, this is actually the change that I was planning to do. So this is um, where I used to just pull all my cash out and I'd either save it or do something else with it. I'm leaving it in my binders and I'm using it as the overflow. Um, so that helps me also with my budgeting. I don't have to put so much into it. If it was a standard budget, I would only need to budget, um, instead of budgeting this whole 400, I would only need to budget 286. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, for my gas, I've got 200. My goal is 250. I only need to budget 50. Household, I'm at 80. I only need to budget 20 because my goal is 100. Uh, the same for fun money. Um, and then for stash in my stash, I have $30, so I'm not stuffing anything for that. Um, so for my primary spending binder, um, st I will be stuffing $436. I'm doing the same for my vision binder. Um, I'm going from the at, and then I'm going to stuff the need. Um, my internet, I have a hundred dollars. I didn't take the money out, so I still have a hundred. I don't need to stuff any, uh, this time. Um, my standard mortgage, I'll be doing, uh, 2,900. I'm at 600. My goal is 3,500. So 2,900 into there. PG and E, my goal is 500. I am at 400. I'll be stuffing a hundred. Um, upgrades and upkeep, I don't stuff those from the sheet. Um, I will be putting some money in it down here. I'll be putting a hundred dollars into both of those. Let's see for water, my water bill, uh, my goal is 300. My water went past that this last quarter, um, or last two months. So I will be budgeting 300 into there. I'll be putting a full 300 for my garbage. I have $140 already in the binder. I'll be stuffing 160 more. Only other changes in here. Um, I'll be adding a hundred dollars for upkeep or a hundred dollars for upgrades, a hundred dollars for upkeep. Um, also for quarter four prep, I am going to be stuffing $500. So putting $500 to the side, hopefully I can add some video in here. Um, I have already did some shopping. I did some today actually. So just some prep for the next, uh, for quarter four. Um, so extra toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. And that helps my budget too. So if I can buy it up front while I have a kind of surplus of extra cash, I use that. So I'll be putting 500 aside for that. 
same regular monthly bills, credit cards getting 20, hair is getting 25, Pandora is getting 10, uh, my phone bill is getting 23. I'm not sure if I answered it, but somebody asked about my phone. I have, and I may have said it in the last video, but I use AT&T and I do get uh, discounted internet and that's what they asked actually about internet. Uh, my internet is 25 or $35, but it's because I have AT&T and I use my cell phone and my internet together and I got $35 deal there. And my actual phone bill is only $23 because my job pays for most of it too. Insurance is getting 28. Another big one change on here is for debt. So um, looking at those numbers and some will say like I should put more towards debt or why am I stuffing and not paying off all my debt? Um, it's just how my budget works and it works for me. I am though stuffing or paying off extra debt and I'm going to be paying off a thousand dollars uh this month towards my debt. Um I've actually consolidated all of my consolidated all of my debt um and I'm working really um really what's the word vigorously um on getting that paid off. Um so I am putting a lot of money towards that. My standard is five forty four. Um I'll be stuffing a thousand dollars for debt this month. Uh, down here, these are my annuals. So what I also try to do when I get my, um, quarterly bonuses, margarita time, when I get my quarterly bonuses, what I do, and I'm going to slow down just a little bit. When I get my quarterly bonuses, I like to, uh, try to kind of build my my budget up or build up my what I need. I try to adjust my, my spending and the money that I have so that I can kind of be, you know, kind of set myself up, uh, for the quarter to come. It helps me out because, um, what I did for my annuals are for these sinking funds is I'm planning to, um, I think I'm going to pay all of these actually. Um, so for the rest of, and these are, most of these are for next year. Um, so I won't have to worry about these payments anymore. I won't have to put the, uh, $26 or 46 or 16 or 130. Um, I'm actually going to get my, um, car insurance paid up for the whole next six months. Um, November is already paid and I'll be paying up the next six months after that. Um, I think my bill is due on, uh, my renewal is due on November 27th. So what I'm doing in this stuffing is I'm going to stuff the goal for six months is 734. I have $130 in my binders already. Um, and I'm going to stuff a hundred or 604. That's going to pay all of my car insurance for the next six months. Um, so that's $130 that I won't have to worry about. So I'm using that money now, um, with the bonus and I'm going to just infuse my budget. <clears throat> I'm also going to pay, um, uh, my chase, my Sapphire annual, um, uh, my Southwest card annual, uh, my movies. Um, let's see what else is there. Annual payments. I'll get that one situated on uh, my life insurance. I'm going to pay that up. And I think this may cover either the next six months for some, at least the next quarter. So all oh, this will be set, even car registration. My car registration was just due in August and that'll be paid off for next year. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. All of next year, all that money will go back towards bills, towards just being, getting more comfortable in my budget. Other ones that I'm going to go ahead, um, these are also sinking funds. Um, most of these have already passed for the year. The year is a wrap, um, basically at this point. So, um, I'll be paying, I'll be putting $25 into my son's birthday fund. Uh, my birthday is in January. My goal is 500. I'm at 50. I'm actually going to pay that off. So I'll, um, I actually dropped it down to 500. It was $600. But when I went through my budget, I just realized I don't really need 600 bucks, especially not for this birthday and not planning to do anything special. 500 will give me some extra cash to, if we decide to go out or whatever it is, I'll have that extra $500 in there. But I'm going to stuff that and uh, that sinking fund will be met too. Uh, vacation, um, this is going towards next year. It's at 75. I'm only putting 50 in there. Um, for family, I'm putting 50 bucks in there. Uh, Christmas is next we got a month tomorrow or by the time this comes out, it'll be November. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and meet this sinking fund. My goal is $1,000. I just started last month. I've got 83, but with this, um, bonus, I'm going to go ahead, um, and fill my Christmas fund. 
In addition to that, I'll be putting 25 into gifts and 20 bucks into the grandkids fund. Let's see. Um, everything else is pretty set. Savings, I'm going to put 50 bucks in there. 20 into my son's uh, savings. $100 to clothes and shoes. We're at 50. The goal is 300. So we'll still have some to do. Car bills, I'm adding 100 into there. Student loans is getting its regular 170. And I'm going to be putting $100 into medical. Trying to get that back up to 500. Um, putting 100 in there. Um, only one into my working binder i'm gonna put 25 dollars into taxes um just to put some money away there uh regular canva cricket and vid iq which i don't think i even use anymore uh doing me binder i'm gonna add an extra hundred in there that along with my winnings where is it i did finish my and this should be in the video but i did finish this so i've got all these winnings that i'll be adding into my doing me binder and also going to add a hundred bucks in there. Family day, 2026. Um, our family reunion is going to be in Utah in 26. Um, so saving, I'm thinking $3,000 should be more than enough for that. We have not yet figured out about how much the flights and all that. We're supposed to get a, a group rate discount and all that, but I'm thinking at least to start $3,000 should be pretty cool. Uh, $50 for that for now. I believe I put some money aside for it have to find that. Hopefully by the time I get ready to stuff this, I'll also go ahead and make my new envelopes. Um, emergency fund is getting $75. The only other one I did add for this stuffing also is Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is this month um, and I am going to allocate $500. I'll put aside for that. And it's just for um, to go on the food or whatever. We haven't decided yet where we're going or what we're doing, um, but I'll likely cook something. Um, and either way, I think $500 should be plenty for that. All of that is where we are. Um, total. So um, I'm doing the need and the stuffed. And that total is uh, $10,027. Extra numbers are just in here that I've used um, for the that I use for my binder otherwise. Um, but over here is the way the numbers broke down. Again, these are where the money came from for this budget. I'm going to take away ten thousand and twenty seven. And I still after all that stuffing, after fulfilling all those sinking funds um, and setting all that extra money to the side, I still got seven hundred and sixty six dollars. Um left so that's that that's what the budget looks like and that is what i will be stuffing fairly soon um the cash i already have all the cash i've been to the bank um not doing it tonight it is now um almost 10 o'clock and i've got one more day of work so i'm gonna shut this down for now and then i'll be back soon have a wonderful evening hopefully everybody is in safe and sound that went out tonight until next time I'll be back. Peace. All right. It's week number five. I missed week number four of the spooky savings challenge, but I want to knock it out. Today is the last Thursday of the month. Happy October 31st. Um, I've got a little cash here uh, because it is the last day of the month. I'm also going to pull this cash out of my wallet. I'm not probably not going to get the stuff today. It's Thursday. So maybe when I get off tomorrow, I'll be able to do my budget excited about getting that situated and hopefully we're in the middle of that right now hope everyone had a wonderful day again this is an insert i'm doing today and it'll go in between another or the rest of this video uh, but this is the cash that was left over in my wallet uh, that came from my home envelope food cash and gas all right I'm not going to count that, but I am going to change these 20s from... This is the cash that I've saved so far in the game. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What am I doing? It's late and it's a long day. I'm making change. Uh, that's 1, 5, 10, 15, 20... And 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. So we just changed those two $20 bills that I had that came out of my wallet. 
set this aside for now. And this is what we're playing with today. Like I said, I'm not going to count this. It'll just be what it'll be. And we'll play with it until it's gone. This challenge came from Onyx over at Budget for Success. And it was brought to me from Bunny over at Hop In The Budget With Bunny. She had it on her channel and invited all of us from the budgeting community to, to participate. And it's been cool. I decided that I was going to put all this savings uh, from this game into my... It's not up there. Into my um, doing me binder. So whatever comes out of this, I'll be saved for that. I believe when I finished last... I was on start, so I'm going to drop my little ladybug on start, and let's get it. Let's do it. Five, one, two, three, four, five is seven dollars. You know what I'm going to do right now before we even get started, because I always have a hard time reading this. I'm going to grab my readers out right now. I've been realizing, noticing I've been needing them more and more, and it's kind of dim in this room. All right, saving seven bucks. Five, six, seven. Three, one, two, three is four bucks. I'm gonna take five, put a dollar back. Five, one, two, three, four, five is six bucks. And bunnies, bunny. Three, one, two, three. I think that's the furthest I've gotten. Two, one, two, back to start. I think that's the first time I ever made it all the way around without having to get kicked back or anything. Week five, and it's finally trying to be nice to me. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and just like that, uh, spider scares you, go back one space, save seven bucks. Five, six, and seven. Four, one, two, three, four. Move forward two spaces. One, two, and save five bucks. Uh, four, one, two, three, four is five bucks. For the other people that are playing, have you decided what you're going to do with your winnings? And I think this is week five. It's, it is 9.08 my time, so everybody else is pretty even later. Uh, for the most part, uh, it's pretty late. So if you've already finished and you're watching my video now, just curious what you've decided to do with your winnings. Like I said, mine is going to go, I'll probably do pick and pull for my doing me binder. Two, one, two is nine bucks. I'm going to put this 10, take a dollar. Three, one, two, three is a times two. And that's the ladybug. Now remember times two, then you roll the dice and whatever comes up is what you save. Four, so eight bucks. That's five. Six, seven, and eight. Eight dollars saved. Three. Uh oh, I'm moving wrong. <laughs> One, two, three, is seven, and boo. Five, six, and seven. I'm really excited to get my budget situated for. Um, it should be the budget that I'm working on right now, but excited to be working on this budget. Um, I am getting prepped for the next couple months. Got my uh, quarterly bonus and just putting it to work for me. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six is another five bucks. Is this my what? Second time around? Third time around. This is number three now. One, you're tired, go to finish and save two bucks. I am tired. It's been a long day. Just chilling. Having a little margarita Thursday. Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A spider scares you. Go back one space, and that's seven. I can see good with these readers on. I don't have a prescription. I haven't wore glasses since I was in elementary school, but I grabbed some readers, and they've been pretty cool. 
four, one, two, three, and four, go forward two spaces, and I say five. I've been on that one all day. I got 10 bucks over there. One, you're tired, go to start, uh, save two bucks, five and three makes eight. And that stays, this one goes one, three bucks. And then there was five, one times two, three, it will be six. I've got five bucks. So that's a wrap for that. All of this cash will go to my, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure exactly how much this is, but it's all going towards my doing me binder at the end. Which I think it's a decent little piece of change. 10, 15. Well, 10.15, I'm Alright, thanks again, Onyx, for this game. Thanks, Bunny, for uh, sending it to the Bunny Hoppers and everybody that participated. I enjoyed this. I was able to save with my Spooky Savings Challenge. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10... 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 219, 220, 221 bucks I saved using this savings challenge. So that was a good saving for this month. Uh, we did, it was five weeks. I did not do it last week, so I did have some extra change that I put to the side. Um, but that's the cash. Back to this cash stuffing. Let's get it. Less stuff November. Before we do that, let's count this cash. So, as you see, new shirt. It's been a couple of days. It's actually Sunday now. I started this video on Thursday. I am ready to stuff November. Counting this cash, I think I will use my tracker down here. Make sure it's accurate. Let's see, bill count. As you've seen, as we discussed already in the video, and as you've seen in the title, I am budgeting for fourth quarter. So I've got some extra cash here from my bonus. I'm going to stuff my binders in preparation for just the months to come. I watched a video this morning for um, uh, Cash Bear Mama, and she was talking about living beneath your means. Um, and I don't want any confusion with the amount that I stuff or anything like that. Um, as you can tell by my binders and by my categories, I'm stuffing in preparation for things to come up. Um, so... I am very mindful of how I spend my cash, as you've seen. I'm not like trying to justify or anything, but just saying not no confusion in the amount of cash that I'm stuffing um, and that I'm, you know, not very mindful of how I budget. If you know my channel, you know he budgets, you know that already. But I was just thinking about that because I did have to make some huge changes in my budget to be able to get to this point. Um, and I budget this way to stay at this point, to be able to save more, to um, be able to have those just good times and not have to, you know, be too concerned about it financially. Let's get this cash counted. Um, so as I, for my sheet, I have a bill counter here. So I just put the amount of bills that I have and it'll count for me. Um, especially with the larger numbers, it just helps. So hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. 79 which is seven thousand nine hundred dollars there's always a question about 
and I don't know why, <laughs> why I feel like I need to be defensive right now. Um, not even from Cash Bear Mama video, but just um, in some of the comments I was reading um, earlier on other videos. Um, but the cash is real. Again, this is just from uh, my bonus. Again, not flexing or anything. Just this is my budget. This is me being transparent. This is me showing how I make my budget work. Um, anyway, we're going to get off of all that energy. I actually feel great today. I think that extra hour was nice. Um, I got up, I started prepping, I started prepping dinner last night. No Thanksgiving is coming up and I probably mentioned already, but I've been just in the mood for, uh, dressing. So I'm actually making a ham dressing, some greens, a little Sunday dinner, uh, fifties, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. 2250s and that's not in the right place um put this 22 I messed up my calculator 22 which is 1100 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 22 just wanted to make sure that was right and 20s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. 78, 20s, which is 1,560. I'm going to pause y'all real quick so I can recount this. All right, and that was 78, so we're good there. And tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I feel like when my count is off, it's usually these tens sticking together. Seventeen tens, fives. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 fives. Twenty two fives and ones. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 five ones as well. And that brings us to a total, and I wasn't sure to start. Now we've got a set total. Um, total of 10862 This cash, and I've mentioned it before in this video, but it's from bonus, uh, quarterly bonus for quarter three. Um, extra cash from a refund from when I purchased my home. And also some cash out of my bonus check for November. So... Cash is counted, sipping on a little orange juice. All right, let's stuff this cash. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm feeling good and ready to get this done. Um, I did also this morning, I went through and I uh, put up a bunch of uh, just the extra stuff I've purchased and I'm gonna refund myself for that stuff. Um, but I did buy some stuff uh, in preparation for the quarter. Um, as I mentioned, Earlier in the video, I like to kind of I like to stock up on some stuff like toothpaste, deodorant, lotion, um, some stuff for the pantry just in advance. So it'll be less money I have to spend just a way to help my budget work um, when I don't have a surplus of extra cash and when I am just living on my paychecks. So that's all set. Let's stuff this cash. 
All right, so let's get this done. Make this a little bit smaller. I think we've been doing pretty good to where we can see it. I think I'm actually going to hide a few more of these rows. I did buy my smaller keyboard, but I'm over here shifting on my other one. And we're gonna hide these. All right, the ones that I really need open, um, numbers that I'm stuffing, and the need. These are the two that I stuff uh, for this category specific. Uh, for my, <laughs> excuse me, primary spending. Uh, throw that out. I'll put that cord up there. My camera was, our telephone was dead when I got ready to uh, film. So primary spending, I need 60 bucks. Uh, 60 will take this up to 200, 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200 for spending. Groceries, I am stuffing 286. So what I'm doing also is I'm just taking this up to 400. So I'm thinking I'm actually what I'm going to do is just take this up to 400. I don't need to put all this extra change in here. I'm going to take these ones out of here. I need to, I'm going up to 400. I should have thought about that earlier because I went through everywhere I could find to make some change. And now I'm not even necessarily going to need it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. And we're taking this up to 400. 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. 400. Uh, gas money, we're going up to 200. No, gas money, the goal is 250. I need to not look at this side. So I'm just going to put an extra 50 over here. Which is what we said we needed to stuff. 51, 52, 50. I'm going to go back and ask the question how, and I'm hoping to ask in the beginning of the video, I'll start a new little clip. But how would you stuff a surplus of cash? So I'm stuffing, oh no, I didn't write it down. I'll have to go back in the video to see. But I think it's 10,008. Oh, it's at the bottom. We're stuffing 10,862. I need this number so I won't forget. 10,862. How would you stuff that? So I'm stuffing my regular month for November, but where would you allocate extra cash to? And you'll see, and I've talked about it some already, um, but you'll see where I'm putting it at. Um, but again, I'm um, uh, stuffing up so for to have extra cash in here uh, let's see gas money is done household is going up to 40 or sorry I keep looking at the stuff side uh, we're looking at the goal for this one so the goal is where it needs $20 so we're stuffing 20 20 40 60 80 100 I actually bought some stuff so I might go back in here later and pay myself back from here um, I did do a little bit of shopping the last couple days uh, fund money is going up to 100. We should be at 80 because we're only stuffing 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 for fund money. Went outside and fed and played with the cats for a little bit and now my nose is all stopped up. Let's see, stash uh, should be set at 30 and it is so we're not stuffing anything into stash. Um, I did not do anything for leftovers or any giveaway bonuses i've got some other cash put aside that i'm going to actually use for these um right now they're not getting anything stuffed today all right so for vision binder which is my household household uh internet should have 100 in there we don't not stuffing anything and we're still stuffing the need column on this one uh, mortgage is getting 2900 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29. And one thing Cash Bear Mama did say too is being mindful of the money you have in your house and just how you're moving it around. Um, I do plan to um, go back, condense these down soon um, and put them back, put the money into a high yield savings. I've already gotten them open. Um, I've just haven't been in a position. I'm just getting back on track after purchasing the house, but getting back into the position to where I can, I have some money to put away. Um, so I will be condensing these down and putting this money into the back into the bank so I can be getting some interest and that it not that I'm worried. Uh, definitely don't want to come in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be putting it back in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-nine. And that puts mortgage up to three thirty-five hundred, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. And that's an extra some extra into mortgage. Um, let's see, PG and E. I am I went up from four hundred in my budget to five hundred. Winter's coming and this house, uh, part of just up um, some of the upgrades, uh, just got some work to do as far as weatherproofing or whatever, but it gets really cold in here. I am going to be using a heater. One, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 84. Um, I have to get the heater fixed, so that'll be an expense I'll have to pay. PG&E is up to 500. Upgrades is going, is down here. Um, upgrades, I'm putting $100 in here. 100 into upgrades. And upkeep is also getting $100. And that puts these, upkeep is at 140 I'm not sure what. Oh, when I said upkeep in my mind, I was thinking about like yarn work, uh, line work, but I guess it's just upkeep in general. Uh, water, water is empty. Uh, I mentioned earlier my water bill was three hundred and forty-five dollars. It is paid now, um, but I'm just gonna make some changes to my water usage. That's not a good way to. Um, kind of exhaust my budget on water. It's just not something I want to put that much money into. So I'll be adjusting that. I am going to stuff $300 in there. Garbage, we're going up to 300. Right now we're stuffing 160, 100, 20, 40, 60. Should put water up to 300. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300 for water. garbage, excuse me. Stuffing through. You can't get in here. I bit my fingernail short. Now I can't get in that binder. All right. Um, another one in here. Prep for Q4 prep is getting 400. One, two, three, four. It's getting 500. And I've already spent some of this. So a lot of that will go towards just paying myself back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hundred for Q4 prep. And that was money I spent on, just send it to the side, on hygiene stuff, pantry stuff, um, and just uh, like garbage bags and just stuff that, and I'll hopefully have some pictures in here, but stuff to just prep for uh, next quarter. Uh, this is monthly bills. Nothing special in here besides payment for debt. Um, Pandora is getting 10 bucks. And the thing is, I honestly probably shouldn't have even, because I hadn't taken this money out of here, but that's all right. I'm going to put 10 in here. I'm really working hard to stop spending out of my bank account and use my cash. This is what I'm hoping to do, especially with this cash loving. Uh, cell phone is getting 23. 20. Three. Not sure why there's a dollar in here, but 23 for cell phone bill. Uh, for my 
Why is this in here? I think I stopped saving into this one. I think I got a different savings account for that. Uh, credit cards is getting $15. I'm down to one monthly credit card. And that's what that payment is for. Hair is getting 25. Maybe for the holidays, I'll go to the shop and get my hair done. I haven't gone in a while, but we'll see. Got some extra cash in there to do so. And insurance, this is another one that I need to pay myself back because I've been paying that insurance bill. It comes out of my um, account automatically, but I haven't been taking the cash. I'm about to get back on track and do that because I owe myself that money. Uh, 20, 35, 38 for insurance. Come on, my way. I'm going to get back on track. A uh, month ahead. I'm not putting anything into that one just now. But this is going to be an, one of my new goals. And I didn't realize I had this one in here. But I'm ready to get another month ahead. Right now in my budget, I am one month ahead. I'm looking to get two and then up to six. Um, so that'll be goals for uh, 2025. All right, this is savings, or an, no, this is annuals. All right, blue save. I'm not sure what I at the front of that binder, but we're not doing nothing. You know what I didn't do? And I almost did it. That's what I did last time too. Uh, for this binder, I did not pull my debt payment. And you remember last that last stuff in video, I had that extra cash, which goes to that. So I'm pulling $1,000 out, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is going straight to debt. So another thing that's just to be mindful of that I am doing. Um, I am stuffing my binders right now, but I am also making big strides towards knocking out all my debt. Right now, I think I have two credit cards and I'm um I have the payments in my binders to pay, so I'm going to pay those, and then I just have my bulk of debt that I have consolidated, um, and I'll knock that off with a big $1,000 payment this month. So I'm getting there, making some strides. Going back to annual payments. Uh, annual payments, and they're not in order in this binder, but annual payments I'm taking up to 150 which is my goal. Uh, let's see. Bunny, I fell my bell. Uh, so these are sinking funds. I needed some change earlier. I could have used all this. So for annual payments, I am taking it up to $150, which is my goal. I'm stuffing 85 today. Uh, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, and 5. And that'll take this up to 150 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 49, and 50. So this sinking fund is paid, and this is going to be, I think I'm all set for this year. So this will really cover annual payments for 2025. So this stuffing is not just going to help me through the quarter, but a lot of the I believe I'm going to close this binder out, um, but a lot of these payments are going to be for next year. So that's what I do with my budget, my uh, bonus checks. I try to move ahead or get my budget up as best I can. I'm going to pause this and get another one going. Just didn't want that to get too long and we have issues later. It was already up to 13 minutes, which kind of nervous about, but we'll figure it out. Annual payments is set. Paid that off. <laughs> a little bit molding. Um, excuse me. My Capital One, this credit card has an annual payment of $36, um, and this is for next year. Um, it's The goal is $40. i am I need $36 more. I'm going to take these four out, and I'm going to put $40 in there. That's the $36 I was going to stuff, and this is set for next year. Don't have to worry about that payment. Uh, car insurance. If you've been watching, you know my goal is to be six months ahead, um, and today I'm going to do that. So just some perks that's happening or some pluses that's happening with this check. I'm just getting ahead. I'm getting ahead for next month and that'll take some of the pressure off my month to month stuffing. Um, let's see. I am taking this up to, let's see, car insurance up to $734. I'm stuffing 604. I'm going to take this, this 30 out and I'm going to stuff up to 730. 
we'll just take some hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put these 50s in here. And we need 20, 30. I'll take the 30 back. Four. So this should take us up to 100 or 734. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 20, 30. One, two, three, four. And just like that, my car insurance will be paid. It's already paid for through November, which is the end. I start again November 27th. And the next six months, six months, December, January, March, April, May will all be covered with this payment. So ringing that bell again. Uh, my Chase Sapphire card needs $100 in. It's due in September. So this is a payment for next year as well. You might ask like um, something for September and it's a hundred dollars. Like why stuff it now to stuff it now? And I'll get it out the way. If something comes up and I need this cash later, I can always take it. Um, it'll be here, but otherwise I don't have to worry about this payment when it comes later. Um, the payment will be the money will be in the bank, which is what I'll do. I'll put it in the bank so it can be working on getting some interest. Um, and I think I stuffed it at a hundred, even though the payment is ninety five. I've always just stuffed it at a hundred because it made just more sense in my binder. That's paid. Another one that I'm paying off. Oh, so bam, that's done. Uh, car registration is another one. This is also due in August. Um, $300. I'm going to take this 26 out. I said I was stuffing 274. I want to put this 26 back in the pot and I'm taking $300 out. Car insurance for next year is covered. Less that I have to worry about in the years, year to come. Um, Amazon subscription, I'm going to keep my Amazon. Um, I believe the cash is all in here for this one already. Uh, this is due, I'm not sure when, I feel like I just paid Amazon or it's due this month. Either way, the cash is here for that. I am, though, still stuffing and I'm working on the stuff side. I'm stuffing $5 just to be ahead when it comes. But this one is all set. This sinking fund is already met. Uh, my this life insurance policy, um, prime life. I'm stuffing eighty seven dollars to get up to two seventy five. That'll meet this for. I think I'm not sure if that's the half a year or three month payment. But either way, it'll be in here. Um, I could use some of this change. I think I'm gonna take this change just because. I went through and took all the fives and ones that I had. So I'll need to make change even back into my change envelope later. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 50, 60, 75. All this goes back. Kind of mini condensing as well. Probably should have waited for that. I'll think about that moving forward. All right, so that should have me covered. All right. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 50, 60, 75, 275, and this is paid off. Uh, my other life insurance policy, this is actually a payment for the year, so... It's one of those just um, kind of, what is it, credit union little savings. Um, but this is, the payment is $45 per quarter. So it's $180 for the year. And this will cover, it may be another payment due this year, but it'll cover most of next year either way. 10, 20, 30, what am I stuffing? Uh, Providence, stuffing $100. 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 180. And that's set. Um, let's see, movie subscription, and yes, I'm still hanging on to it. Uh, there is $10 in here. I'm stuffing it up to 120. I'm stuffing $110 today. And that puts it to 120. I'll still have it, so I'm gonna pay it right now and then we'll figure it out later. Uh, my Southwest card, I'm taking it up to 
Let's see, there's six bucks in here. I'm taking it up to 100 is the bill for this. And this is due in March. So this will be all set for the year, for next year. Um, $69 is due in March. Uh, I'm counting it wrong down here. Uh, $69 due in March. I'm stuffing 63. I'm going to put that five back. I'm going to take 20. 40, 60. Actually, need that five back. Five and three makes nine. 69 for this one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 65, 66, 60. What am I doing? 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. This is a March payment. That'll be all set. Another sinking fund sunk. Uh, Google Play, I don't have any more. Is there something else in here? Nope, this is all set. All stuffed. Uh, let's see, this is family. I am going to close some of these out as well. For my son's birthday, I am stuffing 25 for him. And now I'm not in the needs section, I'm in the stuff section. So I'm stuffing 25 for him. Uh, my birthday, my birthday is coming up, and my birthday is in January. I am stuffing 450 for my birthday. One, two, three, 450 for my birthday. And there is 50 in there. That takes me up to $500. So, uh, vacation fund. I am stuffing 50 into vacation fund. That puts me at 125 bucks, And again, that's going towards next year. Uh, family is getting 50 bucks. Got a bunch of 20s in here. And that'll help when they call for 20. It'll be a couple in there. Perfect. Uh, Christmas. This one I am... Let's see, Christmas right now is at $50, $70, We are taking Christmas up to $1,000. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what else I have to stuff that might need big bills. What I'm going to do to start, I'm going to put this three, because we're taking it up. We're, we're stuffing $917. we are going to take it up to $1,000. So I'm going to take these small bills out. And let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80. I'm going to count this as four. This is five. I'm going to count it at the end. I know it looked crazy, but we're taking it up to a thousand. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, that's 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we'll just take it now, big bills, all right, 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. And that's Christmas. Christmas is met, and we have some stuff I want to buy already. Um, not doing too much. Um, I will buy a couple of new items for the house as far as decoration-wise. Uh, most of this will be spent on food, and we'll do a little, we'll do some cash for the kids. Um, but that's set. Uh, gifts is getting 25 bucks, and this is just extra if something comes up, uh, mint save, I believe is what we're using for grandkids for right now. So I'm going to put 20 bucks in there. And that's a wrap for that. All right, keeping going. We're almost done for savings. I am in my personal savings. I'm adding 50 bucks. I'm going to take some of these 20s. 20, 40, and 50 for personal savings. Uh, for clothes and shoes, I am stuffing $100.
take a couple of these 50s. For car maintenance, I am also stuffing $100. Uh, for health, medical, also stuff in $100. All right, student loans is getting its regular $170. And this is one monthly payment. $150.70. Uh, my son's savings is getting $20. Emergency fund. Emergency fund is at the bottom. Emergency fund is getting 75, 50, 75. I think I might pull that out now. And I'll put that in the other binder later. Or should I move it up? I'm not sure. Uh, medical giveaways has some cash in there. We're not putting anything in there right now. Got another plan for that. All right. Uh, business binder. Taxes. Mr. Uncle Sam is getting an extra 25 in here. I haven't been doing much on my Etsy these days so I haven't had many orders um, but the ones I have just put a little extra out for that for taxes um, let's see what else Canva I don't think I still haven't made those envelopes but Canva Cricut and vidIQ is getting 32 20 30 two. And I think this 32, again, I need to pay myself back, um, but it's in there. Once I go through again, I'll pay myself back. Last one in here. Last one is doing me. What's this envelope? Um, debt. This is for my debt payment. Is that for debt? Oh, yeah, that was from what I did. Um, when I did pick and pull. There's a thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over here for debt. And I'm gonna just put this back in here. And this will go extra payment for this month. Alright, besides that, we are also doing me this binder is getting I'll give it let's break it down some. Twenty forty sixty. 65, 70, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 90, too much, sorry, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, maybe it wasn't too much, or I'm losing my mind, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, so maybe it wasn't off. And this will go towards uh, when I get ready to do some pick and pull again. Uh, family day. I put a family day in here. And should have a family day binder by now, but I don't. Let's see what we got around. Let's just, let's see, Family Day was getting 50 bucks for Family Day 2025. It's getting 50. And I will just make a little note, grab some stuff here, and, and write on this. Uh, safety pin fell down. Thank y'all for y'all patience. <laughs> it's just a kickback. Let's see, 50 bucks. Oh no, this is family day. 
2025. All right, so that's in here. I need to make a debt envelope, Family Day 2025. Um, let's see, the only other one in here, emergency fund I already did. Um, and I am actually putting an emergency fund into this binder. Emergency fund in the door me binder. And the only other big payment in here is Thanksgiving. And I am setting aside $500 for Thanksgiving. One, two, three, four, 500 for Thanksgiving. One, two, three, four, 500 for Thanksgiving. All right, that's all stuffed. All this should be situated. And let's count the cash and see what we got left. All right, we budget fam, it's almost done, almost a wrap. So thank you, Sip. Thank you for your patience, for rolling with me. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. If you made it this far, throw two bells in there. Two bells on there, um, and we'll do a giveaway for that. Uh, two bells, and we'll see what happened. Um, made it this far, two bells, let's do it. Anyway, uh, to make sure that we budgeted correctly and that I stuffed appropriately, I'll count, count the cash we have left. This remainder is what's uh, set to the side for, let's see, that I'm adding to the heater payment. So I gotta pay to get the heater done. Uh, let's see, extras that I paid. Um, so we stuffed today 10000 $22 is what I end up stuffing. Uh, that's the total that I stuffed. And that is out of the $10,862, which means there should be $840 left in here. So let's count and see. I went through a lot to get all this change and I ended up not even using it because I didn't think about down stacking those binders as I went, but that's all right. I owe myself or need to put some change back into my change envelope and I'll do that after we finish. Um, I need $840, 51, 52, 53. Let me count that back. 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600. Uh, just keep, help me keep track. We're at 600. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Plus 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, plus 30 equals 790 plus this 50 that I pushed out because I didn't want to have to count with that odd number, plus 50 equals $840, which means we stuffed that whole uh 10,022 correctly and 840 is the remainder and this cash again will go towards the heater anything that's left over I will gladly rebudget but as of right now we've got uh, an additional 840 to put towards the heater um, I've got a few different quotes and then I talk to the contractor or the HVAC guy for my job and he thinks he can actually fix them when I have so this could be extra cash that gets stuffed back into the budget later. Either way, I thank you all for your time today. Much appreciation, much love. Um, I just stuffed $10,000 and my budget for next month is looking even better because the cash that I'll have will be able to put to a better or different use because I've made so much progress today. Hope everyone is well. Um, tips that I have, spend money, your money, the way that works best for you. Um, it helped for me not to go out. I would love, actually, I, I love a new car right now. Last thing I need, and I got that for the video too from Cash Bear Mama, the last thing I need is a new car. Um, but I would love to get me a new black Chrysler 300 one day. And maybe I'll start saving for it so that I can um, be putting that energy out into it. But for now, my car is good. I'm happy with it. Um, but 
budget in a way that makes sense for you. Me budgeting forward sets me up so that the cash that I do have won't be stretched so thin. I'll have a little bit more room to have a little bit more comfort in my budget moving forward um, for the rest of this year and in time for my next bonus, which will come in January that I can then budget similarly to make the best of it. Until next time, much appreciation, much love as always. Remember two bells in the comments <laughs> to be entered into uh, the drawing. I'll figure out what the prize will be um, and we'll go from there. Actually, it's, I do have it in mind already. I'm looking at it right now. So get entered. Until then, until next time, peace and love. God's blessing on you and all you do in his name. Peace.